Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the fourth and fifth question from CBSE Class 10, 2023-24 Mathematics Standard Examination with Paper Code 311, Section A, where each question is of one mark. Now, the fourth question is from the Arithmetic Progressions chapter. In an arithmetic progression, if the first term A is equal to 7, nth term A n is equal to 84, and the sum of first n terms that is Sn is equal to 2093 over 2, then the value of n is. So here we can see that four options have been given. So let us begin by analyzing the given data first. So it is mentioned that the first term is 7 and the nth term is 84. And there are total of n terms in the given series or sequence. And the sum of all the n terms is also given. So let me put it this way. So these are total n terms, so they can be 10 terms, 100 terms or 200 terms, we do not know. So here we have marked 1, 2, 3, 4 till n terms. So the nth term value is also given that is an and here it is mentioned as 84. And we know that this is the last term because they have given sum of first n terms. That means n becomes the last number. Since an is the last value of the given series or sequence, we are going to also consider this as l, that is the last term. Now we have a relationship that connects the sum of n terms, the first term, the last term and the number of terms, which is, since an now acts as the last term, that is l, we have sum of first n terms given by the formula sn is equal to n over 2 times a plus l, where n is the number of terms we need to find over here. Since the value of sn, a and l are given, we have substituted their respective values, that is sn is 2093 over 2 is equal to n over 2 and the first term a is 7 plus the last term is going to be 84. Now let us simplify this further. The 2 from the left hand side divides the 2 from the right hand side. So this simplifies now as 2093 on the left hand side is equal to n times 7 plus 84 gives us 91 or taking 91 on the other side of the equal to sign we get n is equal to 2093 over 91. Now by division or long division, 91 divides 2093 that is 23 times. So we get the value of n as 23. So let us see if this is in the options above. So here n is equal to 23 is our option C. Now let us move on to the next question. Now the fifth question is from real numbers chapter. If two positive integers p and q can be expressed as p is equal to 18a square b to the power of 4 and q is equal to 20a cube b square where a and b are prime numbers, then the LCM of p and q is. So here we have to find out the LCM of these two given numbers which is p and q. So for that let us write down the prime factors of p and q starting with p. So 18a square b to the power of 4 can be written as 18 is written in terms of prime numbers that is 2 times 3 times 3 and a square is a times a and b to the power of 4 we have multiplied b 4 times. Similarly, let us write down the prime factors of q. So 20 could be written as 2 times 2 times 5. a cube here we have multiplied a 3 times and b square is b times b. Now to find the LCM of p and q we have a formula which is LCM of any two numbers, in this case it is p and q, is the product of all common factors with all non-common factors. Now for all common factors, we have to see which are the common factors between p and q. So here let us circle out all the common factors. So 2 is a common factor which is present in p and q and we have a and we have a second a which is a common factor and then we have two b's which are common. So let us write all the common factors under this. So we have written 2 as one of the common factors, then 2 a's are common and 2 b's are common. Now for all non-common factors, we have to just write down all the factors which we have not circled. So 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times a times b times b. So these are all common factors and these are all non-common factors. So here we have to multiply all the numbers first. That is 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 3 is 36 and 36 times 5 gives us 180. So let us write here 180 times now a times a times a gives us a cube and b times b times b times b gives us b to the power of 4. So this is the LCM of p and q. So let us see if it is in the options. So here we have option d. 
I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you found this video useful, then you can click on these playlist where you can find more questions of these kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.